Welcome to CSC 102 W1 class online and we're going to go over editing and uploading a picture of yourself and I'm going to use myself as an example and we're going to use an online application called Pixlr which is basically an online version of Photoshop. It's free to use. You don't have to make an account or anything like that. The only thing you might need is Flash Player Active and I'll let you know about that once we get into it. But where you're going to go online is going to be Pixlr.com and there's no E in Pixlr. It's just Pixlr, P-I-X-L-R dot com. And when you come to Pixlr dot com, we're going to go down to, we're going to scroll down to the Pixlr editor. We're not going to use Express, we're going to use the web app. And by the way, if you get a message that says leave or stay, sometimes that happens, and I've seen it happen on the Windows version, you're actually going to leave. You might think, why am I going to leave? I'm supposed to stay here. But if you leave, it'll give you an option to allow the Flash player to run because that's what runs this. This is Flash based. So whether you're on Firefox, Internet Explorer, Chrome, whatever you're on, you're going to need to run Flash. So that should be, on most modern browsers, Flash should be active. But for whatever reason, if it's not active or it's not running, you may just have to activate Flash on Firefox or just allow it to run. And then this should show up. And we're going to open an image from computer because you're at home and I'm assuming that you're going to open an image that you have and I'm going to do one of myself. So I'm going to open image from computer. You can open images online if you need to work with things that are already online. You would put their image address there, but we're going to open a, an image from the computer. And I'm going to go find something for this class. And I have a folder here called images and there's one image in it. And this was an image taken with a digital camera. This is of me looking very dapper in a sport coat and I want to basically just take a headshot from this because we just want a small headshot around maybe 200 pixels wide is about all we need and what I'm going to do with this first I'm not sure about the size if you need to know the size of something that you open up you can go to image now remember to use the menu in here in Pixlr not the menus up here in your browser so if I go to image size I can see this is like 3000 by 2000 some pixels so we're gonna have to make this a lot smaller because if you upload something this big into the discussion forum, it's going to be gigantic and people have to scroll to see it. So you don't want that. So I'll cancel out of this. And but what I'm going to do first, before I even crop it, is I'm going to go into adjustment. And instead of going brightness contrast, because actually if you look at it, you could see it's a little low contrast. But I'm going to go to somewhere called levels. And if I look at levels, this is basically a distribution of the pixels. And these are the darks these are the lights and these are the midtones and you can see they're mostly in the midtone area kind of these are some of the the lights here which are all the background those those lighter bricks and these are probably me my, my coat and hair and stuff like that and then there's not many pixels that are in this range so it's kind of a low contrast and this is very easy to fix whenever you see kind of a it's flatlined here and it's flatlined if you just move these over not past where they start but just move them over you could make it more high contrast and that looks a little bit better so basically you're you're almost stretching these out to the end but you're just kind of bringing the ends in is what you're actually doing so you're making this a little more a little more high contrast and that's what we want from this picture here so this is something called levels levels is also in Photoshop but you could do it here in Pixlr and it's a better way to do it because now you also have midtones where if you wanted to lighten the midtones you could lighten them just a little bit if it seems a little too high contrast you could lighten your skin tones a little by going into the mid-tones, this middle slider here, but otherwise this looks okay. And I'm gonna hit okay. And then I'm gonna crop it, and I'm gonna use this first tool here, which is the crop tool, and it'll just kind of make a box around what I want, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I'll just kind of go around my head here, and it doesn't have to be a perfect square either. So I'm gonna go around here, and I'll just move it here. And I'll just kind of find a nice area around there that, that looks good, that I'm getting a little bit of. And you could grab the corners here to resize it a little if you need to. In Photoshop, it kind of grays out the background so it's a little easier to see. So this isn't the as nice as Photoshop when you do this. but And I'm going to kind of have my eyes in the upper third of this area here. And that, that I think looks all right. You can, you can also recrop it again if you need to. But once you use this crop tool... And again, if you need to zoom in, there is there is a navigator over here. Although if I click on this, it's going to say, do you want to apply the changes? Because I'm in the middle of a crop right now. So I can, I can hit yes. I'm going to apply the changes. There's my crop. That doesn't look too bad. So I'm going to stay with this right now. And now also, 
remember the pixels were like 3000 by 2000. Now it's going to be smaller now because I cropped it, but I still want to check my image size. So I'm going to go to image size and it's telling me a thousand pixels wide. That's, that's way too wide for a discussion form. So I'm just going to go in here and highlight it and make it 200. And don't worry about the height and make sure it says constrained proportions because you don't want to distort it. You don't have to force it into being a square or it'll get distorted. So I'll just say 200 right now. Now that looks really tiny, but I'm also not at 100%. So if I go down here and I just type in 100, that'll give me the 100%. That's still a little big for a discussion form, but that's fine for now. We'll keep it at, at 200. Now if I want to save this, one more thing I can do before saving, if it's a little on the blurry side, I can go in here to Pixlr to filter and go unsharp mask. And the amounts at 50, radius is at 2, thresholds at 15. If you just put the threshold down and you leave it at 50 to, that should be okay. It'll give you a little bit sharper image. It'll kind of unblur it a little bit. It'll kind of add a little contrast to the pixel. So it'll be a little bit sharper since you resized it. And we, we took out a lot of information, a lot of data from this image. So I'm going to do that. And, and it's only a slight, you don't want to go real, real harsh with it. Although you can go up a little more if you think you need to sharpen a little bit more. But I had it like 50. I probably wouldn't go much more than that. Maybe 80 will be okay. But you don't want you don't want to overdo it. You don't want to have it look too contrasty. So somewhere between 50 and 80 might be fine. I might go up a little bit higher on this one. I'll leave it at 70 because I think I had it 50. So that looks okay. And I'll hit okay. And that's all I need. And then I want to save this. And again, I'm going to save it right in Pixlr. I'll do save. And I'm just going to call it. I'll just call it pick and I'll put like a dash and I'll just call it Homa. You can call it whatever you want because it's just going to be for you. You're not actually going to be uploading it or sending it to me. You're going to be uploading it to your discussion form. So I'll just call it pick Homa and you know whether you put for discussion or whatever you want to do. So I'll just do that right now. And the settings that are here, JPEG quality, they should be fine. So you're just going to hit OK. I'll save it in the same folder where I originally opened up the file, except it'll have a different name. And I'll hit save. And this is where it'll give me the extension. You don't have to put the extension when you're in Pixlr, but you can do it now. Now, now if you're on Windows, Windows doesn't always put the extension in, so you could just hit save. Although I like to see the extension. I like to see that it's a JPEG, because I'm working on a Mac right now. So I'm going to hit save. And there it is. I could close this up, and I don't have to save it, because I already saved it as a JPEG. So I don't need this anymore. I could close it up. I don't have to save any uh, anything else. So it says, do you want to save the image? And I'll hit no, because I already did save it. And then I could get out of here. I don't have to be in Pixlr anymore. Now, what you're going to do, and it says leave the site. Now, this comes up sometimes. This is the message that comes up sometimes when you don't have Flash activated. And if you hit leave, it lets you activate that. But it didn't there.